Course Backup – Save and Reuse Your Course As a teacher, it's useful to have a copy of our course that we can keep safe outside of Moodle, or perhaps reuse it in a different Moodle site, or give it to a colleague in a different Moodle site, or even have another version of our course in the same Moodle site. Moodle courses copy a backup, and to make a backup of our course, we need to go to the Administration block and to click the link Backup. This is how you would backup the course that you will have created for the Teaching with Moodle course. When we click the link Backup, we need to follow the instructions to decide what exactly we want to bring over with our copy of our course and not. If you're an experienced Moodler, you can jump to the final step if you know what you're doing. But for us beginners, First of all, note that there are X's next to enrolled users and user information. That means that because we are teachers and for security reasons, we can only back up the actual course content, the resources and activities. We can't back up the information, the data that our learners have included. If you need to have your course with all of your learner data, then you need to have your administrator back it up for you. We basically want to include everything else, activities, blocks, filters, and so we scroll down and click Next. On the next screen, we're presented with a list of all of our activities and resources, and we need to decide which ones we want to include. By default, all of them are selected. So, for example, if I didn't want to include an item, I could untick or uncheck that box. And again, we scroll down. And once we've decided which activities we want to include and leave out, we click the Next button. Then we are prompted to check all of our settings. Our backup course has been given a file name which we can rename if we want to or leave it as it is. And we scroll down to make sure that all of the settings and included activities are the ones we want. If we made a mistake, we can simply go back to the previous screen and change them. Now it's time to click the button to perform the backup. And we get a message that the backup file was successfully created. And clicking the Continue button will take us to where we can get a copy of the backup file to download it and save it offline. And if we scroll down, we see our User Private Backup Area, which tells us the course and the size of it and the time that we actually backed it up. So if you want to get this out of Moodle, to say, for example, on a CD or a USB drive, you click the download button. We aren't in this video or this course going to look at how you can then put your course into a separate Moodle site, but if you look in the administration block again and you look at the link Restore, you simply reverse the process by clicking the Restore link, uploading your file and following the screen instructions in that.